Bom dia. My name is Vincentius Luis Nario Wardana from Portuguese Culture Class, University of Indonesia. Today, I'm going to talk about a poem called Os Lusiadas. This is the most famous poem made by Luis Vaz de Camões, who was born in Porto, Kingdom of Portugal. If many European people wrote a book or poem about the Middle East, and Eastern Asia like Japan or China, Auslusiadas may be the first poem that was written by the Europeans about Indonesia. Or more specifically, the first poem from Europe that talk about Maluku Island because Marco Polo had already mentioned some parts of the archipelago such as Bintan Island. What you can find in the book 10th stanza 132 is a description of Ternate and Tidore. The two beautiful islands located in the group of Halmaira Islands in North Maluku and the place where the two kingdoms called Ternate and Tidore were born. For your information, these kingdoms were the sole source of cloth in the world. There are some stanzas of Os Lusiadas in Canto Tens that really catch my attention. They are the 132nd to 134th stanzas. Actually, in Canto Tent, you can find Camoes talking about many islands and regions in South and Southeast Asia, such as Singapore in 125th stanza, Banda and Borneo in 133rd stanza, Timor in 134th stanza, Ceylon or today Sri Lanka in 107th stanza, Bintan or Bintau, an island located in Riau Islands in 57th stanza, and etc. In the 132nd stanza, where he mentions Ternate and Tidore as I have said before, he also mentions the spicy cloves, which is one of the major spices found there. Also, the golden bird that he evokes on this stanza is linked with the bird of paradise, and most of these bird species can be found in Eastern Indonesia archipelago and Papua. The second spice that he mentions in his poem can be found in the 133rd stanza. The dark red bird is actually a nutmeg. He also said something about the kampur or kapur barus in Indonesia, which many people use as a bedroom fragrance and to prevent mold in them rooms. The last is at the 134th stanza, he mentions the region of Sunda, which had its capital in Sunda Kelapa, an enormous arbor at the time that is now called Jakarta. Sunda was a large region of two days Java Island that really extended far to the south. Now, I will recite the stanzas and please enjoy it. Uya sapelos mares do oriente, as invinietas iyas espelliadas, fetidore tarnate como fervente, como que lanzas flamas ondeadas, as arvores veras do cravo ardente, como sangue portugues e de compradas, aqui as as aureas a vez que não desce. Nunca a terra e são mortas aparecem. Olha de bandas e ias que se esmaltam. Da varia cor que pinta o rojo fruto. As da vespreadas que ali saltam. Da verde nos tomando seu tributo. Olha também borneu, onde não faltam. Lágrimas no licor colhado e muto, Des arvores que canfora e chamado, Como que daí o nome é celebrado. Ali também Timor, que o lenho manda, Sando a luz do perro e ser russo. O yaçu da tua larga que uma banda, Esconde para o sul dificultoso. Agente do sertão que as terras anda, 
Um Rio Disquete Miraculoso.